friends. It's a Sunday afternoon and I wanted to make a cherry crisp for our dessert tonight. So I'm putting a cup of flour and a half a cup of granulated sugar into a bowl, a half a cup of brown sugar, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Next I'll be adding a half a cup or one stick of butter. I'm using plant butter here and it's normally a little softer than regular butter. And so instead of cutting in with a pastry blender, I just use my hands to uh, crumble this all together with the flour and the sugars and the cinnamon. Then I'm just going to put this 30 ounce can of cherry pie filling into an eight by eight baking dish put the crumb topping on top of it, and then that will go into the oven for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You just want the topping to get a golden brown color on it. So I get that covered and it looks good. I'm making blueberry muffins later, and I decide to keep some of the crumb topping to use, to try and use on top of the blueberry muffins as a crumb topping. So I've got a little bit left here that I'm going to save for that. So I'm topping the blueberry muffins with the crumb topping, and here's how they turned out. They are eggless blueberry muffins, and I'll leave the link for the video that I made of them in the description box. Now that the cherry crisp is in the oven, I'm going to start on the rest of the meal. A couple of hours earlier, I made a seasoned coating mix out of breadcrumbs that I'm going to use for chicken and pork, and I made that in my um, Bosch mixer. I got the recipe from another YouTuber, Renee, at Little Village Homestead, and I will link her video on how to make shake and bake seasoned coating mix in the description box. So go on over to her channel and give her a shout out and like and subscribe and tell her that Jerry B sent you if you want to. I coated pork chops and chicken, and I put those in the oven at 400 degrees to bake for about 20 to 30 minutes. I had some stuffing in the freezer that I took out and thawed and baked that off. And then we had some potatoes that were sent from an Omaha Steaks package that my sister-in-law and brother-in-law had gifted us for Christmas. So I baked those off and then the chicken and the pork are in the oven. Here's how the cherry crisp turned out and it looks and smells just wonderful. We also got some caramel apple tartlets in that box with the potatoes and I took those out, but we'll have those for another time since we have the cherry crisp for tonight. Here's my dinner. My husband had potatoes. I didn't. It was delicious. And then we had cherry crisp for dessert about an hour later with some whipped cream on top. And that was delicious as well. Thanks for joining me as I make cherry crisp and then finish making dinner. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please remember to like and subscribe. Bye bye.